Hello everyone, welcome to Quantum Guruji. So today in, in this video we are going to see how to do absorption and emission spectrum calculation and how to analyze the data. Okay, so generally what we do is we perform a ground state calculation and we get the ground state in the total energy of the molecule. Okay, so there is not huge difference. So when you optimize the ground state molecule, like the molecule in a ground state and take the coordinates of that molecule and do a single point calculation in excited state okay that is you you will get the absorption spectrum and when you take the uh, geometry and optimize in excited state so that will correspond to your emission spectrum okay so we'll see how does it works so first what we do is we optimize the molecule in its ground state okay using whatever level of theory you are using Okay, then we perform a single point calculation for a TDDFT. Okay, and the geometry will be taking from that you know ground state calculation. Okay, and we'll perform a single point calculation TDDFT. Okay, that will give you the ground uh, excited state energy at ground state geometry. Okay, and now so for ground state calculation you already know the keywords and for the excited state single point calculation will be doing right. So simply you can put this keyword. Now excited state calculation and here you need to do the geometry optimization as well, right? Because uh, you need to find out the emission spectrum. So what you need to do is you need to optimize the molecule in excited state using OPT. Okay, so you can use this keyword. Now how to find out the absorption energy. So it is the energy difference between the ground state and the excited state. Okay, at the ground state geometry, right? You understand that. So the geometry will be taken from the ground state. Now, this is uh, this is the E absorption energy, and this is the energy of uh, excited state where the ground state geometry is taken minus energy of ground state where the geometry is uh, of course from the ground state. So that this difference will give you the absorption energy. Now to find out the emission energy, what you need to do same thing. You need to take the uh, like geometry you can take it from the uh, ground state calculation and again you need to optimize in using TDDFT okay so that optimize geometry from the excited state uh, this is the singlet excited state geometry and this is the ground state geometry but the geometry like coordinates was from the excited state right so this energy will give you the emission energy Okay, and then it's another uh, term called as stock shift. This is the energy loss during the relaxation process. And sometimes what happens? Suppose uh, there was uh, like absorption energy took some uh, like uh, some amount of energy to uh, uh, go to excited state, but during the relaxation there was some energy loss. So that loss energy is due to the stock shift. And how to find the stock shift is this energy difference. Is the energy of your absorption minus energy of your emission will give you this stock shift okay so now we'll start the calculation how to perform the calculation so here you see this is the absorption process and this is the uh, emission process or other way of fluorescence right okay now we'll see the real uh, calculation and how it works so first we'll see absorption so here I have taken one molecule This is the random molecule I have taken here. Okay. So we'll see the input file. So the in, in input file I have taken is so okay. So this is the absorption, right? Before absorption, I will show you the ground state calculation, right? So the ground state calculation will be will be using the full optimization, and this is the functional I'm using Cambethyl. Ba basis set and I'm using the uh, super final uh, integral and I'm also using the empirical dispersion Grimm D3 and the frequency calculation so this will perform a ground state calculation right so once your ground state calculation is over what you need to do is you have the uh, output file of your ground state right now this is your ground state optimized geometry right now you need to take this geometry so either what you can do is right click go to the file menu save save in the gzf form gzf form 
and uh, that will be the coordinates will be the uh, optimized ground state coordinates that coordinates you can use for your single point excited state calculation that will give you the absorption uh, spectrum so in absorption this is the input file so here this coordinate is coming from the ground state optimization calculation okay so here we are just performing a single point excited state calculation so td, TD equals to this n state i am using uh, six excited state calculation and root equals to one so it is the first excitation the functional then your basis set i am using integral uh, superfine integral and this so called uh, dispersion correction okay so this will give you the absorption spectrum or absorption calculation again so we will we'll see the absorption spectrum how it looks like so this is the log file right click go to results you will be visible so this spectra is the absorption spectra okay now we will go to the emission this is the same molecule the input file okay so this coordinate i have taken from the you can take it from anywhere from the uh, excited state single point calculation or whatever like ground state the coordinates will be same right so that coordinate you have to take but here we'll be performing the optimization process as well it's not a single point so this is the excited state calculation with uh, geometry optimization so here also I am using this FOPT is for the full optimization of this molecule in excited state TDDFTD I am using the calculation singlet and state 6 root 1 root 1 is the first excited state right so this is the functional basis set integral superfine and this is uh, I am using this uh, dispersion correction and the frequency calculation so I am just using all these uh, for the excited state uh, optimization okay so once this calculation is over you will see uh, now this is the excited state optimized geometry right click go to the results visible here this is your so if you see this is your absorption spectra and this is your emission spectra okay if there is no difference means this stock shift is minimal okay you can see here uh, like there like you can plot and see what is the difference between this okay this is your absorption spectra and this is your emission spectra and this value will give you the lambda max value and here also the lambda max value and manually also you can see in the output file of your this is your output file of your emission spectrum right there you go down okay there this is the frequency calculation just before your frequency calculation you will see the excited state calculations so here if you observe see which is this f is the oscillator strength okay so check for the maximum oscillator strength so this one orbital number 29 to 30 uh, this is the you know uh, emission wavelength 260 that is the lambda max value and this is the energy corresponding to that and this is the uh, uh, this uh, oscillator strength so this is your lambda max value for your emission spectrum similarly for your absorption okay here also you see for the maximum absorption is here here the oscillator strength is maximum means this is your lambda max so lambda max for absorption is 251 and for emission is 269 nanometer so you can see this is your uh, emission uh, lambda max and this is your emission energy okay and this is your absorption lambda max and this is your absorption energy 
okay and this is the oscillator strength and this is the uh, excitation of 29 of your uh, orbital to the 30 and we can see these are homo levels or lumo levels we can see that how to see that so we'll go to the ground state and we'll see the geometry of the molecule here if you see so orbital number 29 to 30 that is the homo to lumo okay you can see 29 is homo and 30 is the lumo so this excitation is from your homo level to the lumo level and that is giving you the lambda max value and it has the highest oscillator strength as well so that's all about your absorption and emission spectra and the differences so to summarize what i have done here is for absorption energy what i have taken just the single point calculation in excited state taking geometry uh, like uh, coordinates from the ground state and for the emission i have taken the geometry from like you can take the ground state and but you have to perform the optimization uh, in excited state okay okay thank you for watching the video if you have any doubt put it in the comment section don't forget to like and subscribe thank you